Hey guys, Seekite here, and today we are playing Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Oh my gosh, I'm excited, I'm late, I know, I suck, I'm bleh. Yes, anyway, we're back, and we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I also, we're gonna play, uh, Dark Fall, um, 1 and 2 series coming out. I bought it, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, I, I, we'll see, I don't know, I don't know much about it at all. But this game, I do know much about, and let's get into it. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza featuring actual relics from the decades old pizzeria. This is now an attraction guaranteed to bring back your childhood in the worst possible way. I think I'm the first YouTuber that read that entire thing. There we go. Alright, let's see what we got today here. That's what we're gonna do. Hey, hey, glad you way, came back for another night. I, I, I promise know. it'll be a lot more interesting this time. Whoa, we got some totally. Great new relics over the weekend. Bro. We're out tracking down a new lead right now. Oh, so, uh, gosh. Let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything oh, works man. and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, and past you, and out the exit. Well, here uh, we go with the lag. Yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! Yay. So not only will you be monitoring the people <laughs> on the right. camera as they pass Blay. through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. <laughs> It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, Always nice. And a boxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan. Very old school. Metal, though. So watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now, the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know, like I totally. said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go uh. offline. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Yeah, see, it's creepy cheap. Okay, so yeah, um... Phone guy made me forget everything. Wait, hold on. Okay. It's 4 a.m. Get out of the car. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it just got faster. Look at that. Phone guy was killing my computer, man. Phone guy, you dirty little devil. Look at that. Fan, are you working? No? Fan never works. If I move really fast, it looks like it's moving. Oh, whatever. Anyway, uh, still, I guess, kind of slow, maybe, but a lot better than. LOL Yay! Yes! Righteous colors, green and yellow and white. 
Okay. Ooh. Was what? 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 Come, come on! Jump off the stage. My Freddy's broken. My Freddy's broken. Um. Is there a jump button? <gasps> oh. Oh, I was using the. Hey, were you guys aware that the the things also do things? Hey, look at this. Oh my god. Oh, Dancing Freddy. Dancing Freddy. Okay, come on. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, he's doing the moonwalk. Look at that. Moonwalk Freddy. That's the name of the episode. Moonwalk Freddy right there. Look at that. Look at that moonwalk. Look at that moonwalk. All right, come on. Let's go. Oh, moonwalking his way to victory. But, no, nah, I don't want to follow you. I want to moonwalk my way to, to victory. Boo 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 squeaky. Alright, hon. B B D B 1 C 1 1 C K. Oh, I'm not going to remember that. Oh, well, when the time comes, the time comes. I just Google it. I just Google it. Hey! Apparently, Freddy can go under the table and get stuck. It's apparently a thing. Moonwalk! Oh my gosh, on. It's just a feeling. Feeling I, I don't know the words, but I'm probably gonna die. Cause it's a feeling. What? Okay, that's not what you're supposed to die. You're supposed to die in the other room. Man, purple purple dude just doesn't like my moon walking Freddy. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. Debra. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could, like, have them playing, like, over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes us feel legit, man. <laughs> but I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. Oh, we found God. one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Hi. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both the animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injury okay, slash okay. death slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First, we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound ease <laughs> and easy and hands-free approach to make sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Come on. I don't know what you're blinking for.
Um, alright, my dude has asthma, and he needs an inhaler. Like, stat. Okay, so I haven't seen... Hello? I... No! I'm so glad I avoided that. Okay, so I have no idea where where uh, Yellow Bro is, and I've been looking all over for him. Hi. Oh shoot. So this is an easy night. Um. Nothing too scary. I mean, I guess I don't want to look a Hello? gift towards me in my youth. But uh, so far, Ugly Eyes over there hasn't showed his ugly little face. His stitched up little purple man face. Alright. Oh, and uh, after I do this, I plan on doing all of the night sixes <laughs> that I didn't do in the previous things. Did I just hear something? <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh -oh. Hello? Shoot! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Guys! Guys! The dude got in! Okay, alright, remember all those things that I said about you that were kind of horrible? I apologize. I shouldn't have said those things. I called you ugly and I, I invoked your wrath. So if you could be. Hi. No! No! We're so close! Ding, 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 ding! Yeah! Oh. Okay, so we got through night two, you know, that's a thing. Oh. oh, you do the same thing too. Look at that. Alright. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, there's a skull there. That's not good. And that's not healthy. There's. Uh, I want the mousey. Can we collect them all? No, you come back here, little mousey. You come back here. I'm gonna hug you and squeeze you and. No, I didn't want a Foxy. Foxy, are you there, my mate? Foxy, are you there? No? Alright. Oh, my cupcakes. Hold on, what's this? What's this? What's this? Cupcakes. Okay, so, um... I feel like I should have uh, done something. Isn't there, like, a Balloon Boy poster? I think I already screwed the world up right now. Hold on. Mousy, how'd you go through the walls? Oh my gosh, the stress, man. I don't want to go that way. Never go that way. Touching the black blood. Alright. I know he didn't die there, but you know what? I'm gonna turn my back to you. I'm gonna turn my back to you. And I'm gonna go to the right. I'm gonna go to the left. I got, I'm dyslexic, apparently. Alright, hold on. We got this. 
We are gonna moon. We are gonna set. Oh, look at that right there. Oh, man, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. That dance move right there. That dance move, though. That dance move. Why can't I get in there? So apparently, purple guy wasn't in there. I'm gonna die. Guys, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. And once I die, that's the end of the episode. The end of the episode of which I died. And I swear, if this didn't record, I'm gonna cry. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper seat handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring lock located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments to position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press against any of the spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring lock at Hello? any time. Do not breathe on the spring lock as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, Hello. please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out. That's to not ruin the customer experience. As always, if there is ever an emergency, please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layout program the animatronics or security booth. This room is hidden to customers, invisible to animatronics, and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. That's not good. Hi. Come on. Well, you suck at life. Maybe I have a chance. Come on, leave me, leave me, leave me. Shoot. Oh, the double duo. Alright, I died. Are you happy? Okay, now we're gonna try that one more time. We're gonna try that one more time. Alright, load. We got this, we got this, we can beat night three. We got this. We just need to be smarter. Smart, smarter, we just need to be smarter. So we need to do is be smarter. Okay, we're gonna die. Okay, so I'm gonna make a quick noise. Somebody's in the vent. Okay. Hello? Okay, that's a Freddy. It was definitely a Freddy. Hi! Alright. Now we really need to find the dude.
Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not really talking that much and being a, you know, commentary man. Because right now I'm just like, I want to win. And I'm freaking out a little bit because I don't really know how to Hi. do this. Hello. That's it. That's it for this video. Because we got through night one and two. And surprisingly, it's not all that scary. This game, you know, in my own opinion, I have to say this game feels a little bit weaker. I'm sorry, but like, the first one was good. The second one was scary, awesome, got my heart pumping, all that kind of stuff. This one just feels... I don't know, it just got away. It's like not as scary and like once you know the jump scares and what like what triggers like with the first games they were kinda like random. You know, but in this game there's things that trigger them and there's ways to avoid it. You just have to click off the screen and I know this dude is gonna tick me off and it's gonna be mostly frustrating, but I'm gonna get through this, I'm gonna do this let's play, and uh we're gonna get through this. But um I just I don't like this one. I just don't like it. Um, it, it, all, it also didn't really, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about, anyway, but yeah, this, this one definitely is weaker compared to the second one, because the second one was good, I guess that's how it works, the se sequel's always better than the first one, but once they make, like, the trilogy, then it, it, like, it goes down, so hopefully the fourth one can bring it up, but so far, I mean, like, like, I like what he did in all the graphics, and, just the concept. I mean, it, it's good concept, it's just... I don't know. Well, I missed the first one. That's all I can say, so I will be doing faster. Not many people are doing that game, but I definitely Anyway, if you like this video, then you're awesome. And if you subscribe, you can say, woo, 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 wo